in this part we'll talk about the process of fertilization and metamorphosis in case of frogs fertilization and metamorphosis during fertilization that is in reproductive uh, season or breeding season which is normally rainy season in case of frogs the male frog climbs over the female frog and holds her with the copulatory pads if you remember the morphology we said the four limbs of male frogs have a pad like structure which is called the copulatory pad and male and female animals they release the gametes at the same time so eggs are released and as soon as the eggs are released by the female frog on top of it the male frogs they release the sperms so sperms are released and these two processes they take place simultaneously so that fertilization takes place and that means fertilization <coughs> is external it takes place in the water and that is why we said that these animals are termed as amphibians because they depend on water for reproduction so fertilization takes place in water that is it is external fertilization now from the zygote what hatches is a larval stage and the larva is known as tadpole tadpoles are aquatic and the respiration in case of tadpoles is through gills respiration is through gills and the waste which they eliminate is ammonia so that means they are ammonotelic adult frogs are ureotelic because frogs live on land as well as in water whereas tadpoles they are purely aquatic and that is why they are capable of eliminating the nitrogenous waste in the form of ammonia the tadpoles also have a tail a well developed tail is there if we try to see the body the body is ovoid a long tail is present and the limbs are there and anteriorly we find that there are these gills so this is how the structure of a tadpole looks so it has a very well developed tail so from this larva now we get the adult that means during metamorphosis there is a larval stage and if there is a larval stage then the development is termed as indirect or metamorphosis is termed as indirect so in case of frogs metamorphosis is indirect whenever there is an intermediate stage then that metamorphosis is known as indeterminate or rather indirect if from the egg a young one comes out or hatches then we call it a direct development here it is indirect plus we would add one more term in case of this metamorphosis it is called retrogressive metamorphosis normally whenever we talk of metamorphosis it includes progressive changes that means from a simpler structure a more complex structure develops but in case of frogs a complex functional structure is formed but as development takes place or as metamorphosis takes place that structure is lost or reabsorbed and the structure is tail so tadpoles have tail and as from larva this adult metamorphosis or changes are taking place during this time the tail is reabsorbed and during this stage we would find a frog where 
the tail is very tiny structure and slowly and gradually as it grows towards the adult stage all that complete structure which is called tail gets reabsorbed and that is why it is called retrogressive metamorphosis so in case of frogs fertilization is external though male and females they release or produce the gametes separately release of the gametes that is eggs and sperms takes place simultaneously so that fertilization is possible if female lays eggs and the sperm lays or uh, releases sperms at uh, different places because the external medium is water it would be very difficult for these two gametes to come closer and that is why during copulation as soon as the female releases the eggs the male releases sperms on top of those eggs so that fertilization is ensured and during metamorphosis there is a larval stage which is totally different from the adult frogs so this is how reproduction fertilization and metamorphosis takes place in frogs